Hey, so I had a question where somebody asked me to explain the difference between editorial and commercial photography. And I thought, you know, that's a good question because when I started out, I didn't really get the difference. So I'm going to really quickly try and explain to you the big differences and the pros and cons between the two. Now, editorial, as it may suggest, is a story which is going to print. Commercial normally describes an ad campaign which may be going to print but may be using different sort of scenarios as well. It could be digital, it could be social media, it could be projection, it could be all sorts of different things. But editorial tends to be either online magazine or print magazine. They're the two sort of ways that it goes. Now an editorial is almost always a multi-image story. It's almost like a photo essay. So you're trying to tell a story through photographs which will sit alongside copy and between the two of them they'll marry together hopefully to tell a nice story. Whereas a commercial shoot for an ad campaign, it could be a sequence of images, but they don't necessarily tell a story shot to shot. It is normally just more of a here is the image and you know, here's a variant of it. Now, one of the big differences you notice once you become a professional is that editorials have very small budgets. You are not going to get paid big money to shoot an editorial. It might be a grand, maybe two grand, but when you come to commercial shoots, it might be 10 grand, 20 grand. So there's very different numbers involved here, very different budgets, very different size teams. And also the prep that goes into them is very different as well. With the editorial, once that month's issue has gone, that has gone. It doesn't have a long shelf life for so much, whereas this ad campaign might be used for five years. So, so far we have. The editorial is lower paid. It is normally more creative because ad campaigns are quite strict and stringent. You have a bit more freedom. It's often more interesting to shoot an editorial. It is the fun stuff. It always ends up in your portfolio, whereas commercial work often doesn't because it, it often looks quite boring. Um, it is fast paced, it is quick turnarounds, it's quick short planning, and it's done, it's dusted, and it's gone. The ad campaigns, there's a lot of planning that comes in even before the photographer's mentioned. There's a lot of sign off process, there's big budgets, there's big teams. You don't really have any leeway within an ad campaign. You're pretty much dictated as to what you're going to be shooting, and often with a technical drawing that is an exact copy as to what you're going to photograph. And between the two of these, there is this new merged world, which is a paid advertorial, which is where a brand might pay for an editorial in a magazine where it's an advert within an editorial, in which case the budget comes up and the production comes up, but it's not as much as an ad campaign out and out where it's you know, big money. Now, one of the big things I've noticed is that the editorial work and the test shoot work is what gets you booked for the big shoots. The big shoots never get you booked for more big shoots. It's really weird. They'll see some really cool creative idea and go, we love that. Could you photograph an ice cube, please? And you know, it, it's, it's like they see the big creative work and that's what they want to book you for, but they, they've got something very different. So you have to do both. You have to do the test shoots and the editorial work and the creative work to get the big paying jobs. And I see it like this. I like doing the big paying jobs because I like problem solving, but that money allows me to have time where I can create in between. If I just did editorial work, I'd be shooting every single day to try and make ends meet. But when I can do a big ad campaign, even if I only did one a month, I'd be fine. Like I'd be comfortable. So that's the big difference for me. And that's how I see the two worlds. Let me know if you feel differently about it in the comments and I'll see you all next time.